Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. On our behalf of St. Mark's Lutheran Church, welcome to this abbreviated service of the Word for May 3rd, 2020, the fourth Sunday of Easter. Today is called Good Shepherd Sunday because Jesus is referred to as the gate of the sheep in today's gospel. The risen Christ opens the way to abundant life. He anoints our heads with oil and guides us beside the still waters of our baptism. Each Sunday he spreads a feast before us amid the world's violence and war. We go forth to be signs of the resurrection and extend God's tender care to all creation. A reminder that St. Mark's has suspended all worship services and ministry activities until further notice. I invite you to stay connected with one another through our church office, web page, and Facebook. Once again, I would like to take this time to express my appreciation to Gary Weber, Bernadette Jones, Tim Vasey, and Mabel Davison for their expertise and encouragement in filming these videos. Throughout the season of Easter, our first two readings will be from the Acts of the Apostles and the first letter of Peter. As the early Christians proclaimed the new birth and living hope of resurrection received in baptism, so we begin our worship today by giving thanks for our baptism. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are raised with him to new life. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you created us in your image and planted us in a well-watered garden. In the desert you promised pools of water for the parched and gave us water from the rock. When we did not know the way, you sent the Good Shepherd to lead us to still waters. At the cross, you watered us from Christ's wounded side, and on this day you shower us again with the water of life. We praise you for your salvation through water and your word. Bathe us in your forgiveness, grace, and love. Satisfy the thirsty, and give us the life only you can give. To you be honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God our Shepherd, you know your sheep by name and lead us to safety through the valleys of death. Guide us by your voice that we may walk in certainty and security to the joyous feast prepared in your house through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts, the second chapter. The baptized devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 23. Please read this with me responsibly. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A reading from 1 Peter, the second chapter. It is a credit to you if, being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins and his body on the cross, so that free from sins we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bad men, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Like all of us, the Vasey family has had to face the challenge of extended togetherness, courtesy of COVID-19. And so, when not working from home, we spend a lot of time finding ways to pass the time. One of these is to play games, what my dad often refers to as parlor games. One of those games is Slamwich. Slamwich is a card game similar to Slapjack. Sandwich is played with a specific cards that resemble a loaf of bread. The object of Slamwich is to build a sandwich with items pictured on the cards. If you have duplicate sandwich items back to back, such as two cheese, or two lettuce, or two tomatoes, you create a slam witch to be the first to slam the cards with your hand, and you take that sandwich. The goal of the game is to collect all the cards, but you have to be careful, because thieves are part of the game, and a thief can break in and steal your sandwich. And when you're out of cards, you lose the game. In our reading today from the Gospel according to John, Jesus warns us of thieves, 
Thieves that can break in and steal much more than a sandwich in a game. These thieves can steal our very lives. They can lead us down the path of fear, hate, and death. Often when we hear this passage, and others like it, that refer to Jesus as the Good Shepherd, we think of traditional images and messages of gentle Jesus, the one to whom we can and should turn to ease the burdens of life. True, this text does point us in that direction. And indeed, a large part of our faith is being comforted by these images. Psalm 23, our psalm for today, is often the psalm quoted in sickness and at funerals to remind us of the comfort that Jesus brings. But as our gospel for today suggests, there is another image that is just as valid, one that we often neglect. Jesus the one who stands against all foes. Jesus is the one who defends against thief and bandit. Jesus is the good shepherd who cares for the flock. We call him good not because of the level of care, but because of who he is. It is the same thinking in calling the Friday of Jesus' crucifixion Good Friday. It is labeled by us as good to remind us of who Jesus is who dies on that Friday. God's Son, who suffers and dies in order that he might rise again. God's Son suffers, dies, and rises again so that you and I can reap the benefits of forgiveness and life eternal. We are the baptized sons and daughters of Christ. We are claimed by him in baptism. There are many thieves that seek to break in and steal that identity from us. Those who urge us to forgo love of God and love of neighbor, convincing us that we need to hate those who are different from us, leading us down a path of false sense of pride and identity turning our faith into selfish acts that benefit ourselves rather than selfless acts that benefit others. The philosophy of fatalism is another. This leads to apathy, the way of life that proclaims there is nothing that can ever be done to improve anything, so why try? And then there is the evil specter of COVID-19. That which tells us the lie that it's okay not to care about others because, after all, if they're sick, they're just weak and they don't take very good care of themselves. Therefore, we don't have to claim responsibility for anything. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. He is the Son of God and as such can guide and direct us away from these ideas concepts, persons, and evil that can and do harm us. We cannot stand against the sin of this world on our own, but the Good Shepherd can. Cling to him, for he defeats all thieves and bandits in the game called life. And I don't mean the board game that we might play later tonight. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Living together in trust and hope, we affirm our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, 
and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Shepherding God, we thank you for the educational ministries of your church. Enrich the work of teachers, professors, mentors, advisors, and faculty at colleges, seminaries, and learning sites. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creating God, we praise you for those who maintain and operate farm equipment, for those who plant and harvest crops, for local farmers, for markets, for those involved in agriculture of any kind. Strengthen their hands as they feed the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guiding God, no one should be in want. Bid the nations to return to your paths of righteousness and inspire our leaders to walk in your ways so that all may have the opportunity to live abundantly and sustainably. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comforting God, you carry us tenderly. We pray for those who walk through dark valleys, overshadowed by anxiety and overwhelmed with suffering especially those who are victims of COVID-19, as well as Liz, Grace, Diane, Ruth, Vanessa, Gary, Paul, Bob, Doris, Charles, Jerry, Gladys, Randy, Patricia, Diane, Joanne, Richard, Ashton, Betty, Pastor Frank Showers, Lucille, Deb, April, Lenny, Gary, Esteban, Susan, Frank, Elsie, Virginia, and Ruthann. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nurturing God, you desire justice for the hungry. Bless advocacy work, food pantries, and feeding ministries in our congregations and communities. May none of our neighbors lack for basic needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Caring God, be with all those who minister to others in ways of health and wholeness. Provide for them as they seek to provide for and help others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, your beloved have heard your voice. You have called them by name and guided them to your side in death. We thank you for their lives, their lives of faithful witness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. A gentle reminder that while worship services and all ministry activities are suspended, the need and ministry of the church continues. Members and friends of St. Mark's, please continue to remember the needs of our congregation through your giving. Thank you for your faithfulness. If you are visiting St. Mark's by way of this video and have a relationship with another congregation, please remember that congregation in your giving. Once again, you can stay connected with one another through our church office, webpage, and Facebook. Should you be in need of pastoral care, please contact the church office. Join us for worship next Sunday as we continue to celebrate the good news that Christ is risen. Please now share in our benediction and dismissal. May the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead raise you to new life, fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Christ is risen, just as he said. Go in peace. Share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.